Hello, this is Venetia, and welcome back to Skipping with Jesus. I have a spoken word um, from Jesus, from His voice, from the morning of um, March the 8th of 2024 at 12.08 a.m. This time stamp is relevant to the written word the Holy Spirit directed me to um, written um, scripture that is um, we will be marrying with the spoken word of Jesus and the title of this spoken word is I am walking amongst you Holy Spirit I pray that you put your hand on me and um, my vessel is open to you to speak through my voice in the words um, that Jesus spoke to me early on the morning of the 8th. Now, um, Holy Spirit, my vessel is yours. Let none of me be seen, but all of my Lord Jesus. In his precious name I pray. May he be high and lifted up in Jesus' name. Amen. I am walking amongst you. In Numbers 12, 6 through 8, in the New Living Translation, it says, And the Lord said to them, Now listen to what I say. If there were prophets among you, I, the Lord, would reveal myself in visions. I would speak to them in dreams. But not with my servant Moses, for all my house, he is the one I trust. Now here is the timestamp of um, 1208 in Numbers 12 in the eighth verse. So I speak, God, this is God speaking about Moses. I speak to him face to face clearly and not in riddles. He sees the Lord as he is. So why were you not afraid to criticize my servant Moses? This is the Lord's spoken word I humbly scribe for him as he spoke to me. I am walking amongst you. I will show my face to the chosen one carrying my glory. For they will bring healing to the lands, nations, and people. They carry my authority into the multiple generations bringing healing to generational bloodlines, says the Lord. The power of the Holy Spirit dwells in them and on them. When they open their mouths to speak, my words are spoken through them. They bind the enemy, releasing strongholds of those held captive, having the keys to unlock prison cells to those held in bondage, says the Lord. The Lord says the Father has handpicked his chosen ones from a remnant of the ecclesia to reveal my glory throughout the earth. They know my heart, having been sent into the nations to be to do, do greater works of the Spirit. Many will say they once knew the chosen ones, finding themselves having to repent of their unbelief and doubt in the work they are now seeing I have done in the lives of my chosen ones, says the Lord. I have assigned an angelic army to go with each of my chosen ones. They hear my words being spoken through my frontline warrior army and respond in their battle assignments. There are great and intense battles being fought in the supernatural realms. Those only having eyes to see in the spirit can see the war raging, having the ability to expose the enemy, fighting with me against the enemy's end time battle strategy, says the Lord of angel armies, for I am greater than any of the enemy's lies, schemes, or disguises. I am victorious over death, hell, and the grave. My mighty warrior and 
and our angel armies are going forth um are going uh, go i'm sorry my mighty warrior and angel armies go forth knowing my battle strategies in the confidence they have in me they know the war has already been won they know that i as their commander in chief walk amongst them therefore they have nothing to fear as they are warring against the enemy they know i will be with them continuing the great work i have begun in them says the lord of angel armies the winds of the spirit provide kingdom resources needed to be victorious in battle there is nothing to fear as the river of my peace flows through the battlefield providing rest for those weary from battle quenching the thirst of those thirsty says the lord of angel armies i say to my beloved cherished bride stay awake with my with your lamp trimmed and burning brightly for soon and very soon i will return i hear the spirit and the bride saying come come lord jesus come and second king 6 15 through 22 in the new living translation this is an example of a battle strategy that the lord is using now and this is was um um in second king 6 15 through 22 is um where um elisha and um his servant are seeing the battle won um, in, in God's battle strategy. When the servant of the man of God got up early the next morning and went outside, there were troops, horses, and chariots everywhere. Oh, sir, what are we to do, to do now? The young man cried to Elisha. Don't be afraid, Elisha told him. For there are more on our side than on theirs. Then Elisha prayed, O oh Lord, open, yes, Holy Spirit, O oh Lord, open his eyes and let him see. The Lord opened the young man's eyes, and when he looked up, he saw the hillside around Elisha was filled with horses and chariots of fire. As the Armenian army advanced toward him, Elisha prayed, O oh Lord, please make them blind. So the Lord struck them with blindness as Elisha had asked. Then Elisha went out and told them, You have come the wrong way. This isn't the right city. Follow me and I will take you to the man you are looking for. Then he led them to the city of Samaria. As soon as they had entered Samaria, Elisha prayed, O oh Lord, now open their eyes and let them see. So the Lord opened their eyes and they discovered that they were in the middle of Samaria. When the king of Israel saw them, he shouted to Elisha, My father, should I kill them? Should I kill them? Of course not, Elisha said. Do we kill prisoners of war? Give them food and drink and send them home to their master. When I was uh, reading this, the Holy Spirit brought to my memory um, of, of the, you know, heaven has three quarters of the angels and um, Satan only has, has one third and I um, as so um, as um, we think of this um, they Satan only having one third then heaven having the remainder of the angels we far outnumber um, it, Satan's angels and we should remember that and I believe in my heart that when uh, Elisha prayed these prayers that the angels heard and went out and blinded the, the um, army and that um, 
uh, uh, they, they are messengers of God. And through the spoken word of Elisha, they um, knew what their um, what the Father had given them as their battle strategy. And um, Elisha, through I'm sure the angel armies of heaven, um, conquered this uh, and won the victory over this battle. May we remember that um, God is far superior than what our enemy is. And um, God has knowledge of what um, Satan's battle strategies are. Therefore, we always have our hands up on him. Let's remember that we are victorious through Christ Jesus, our commander in chief. And then in Psalms 46, 1 through 11 in the Passion Translation, God you are such a safe and powerful place to find refuge. You're a proven help in time of trouble, more than enough and always available whenever I need you. So we will never fear, even if, if every structure of support were to crumble away. We will not fear even when the earthquakes and shakes moving the mountains and casting them into the sea for the raging raging roar of the stormy winds and crashing waves cannot erode our faith in you pause in his presence can we just pause in his presence and meditate on that the awesomeness of our god God has constantly flowing river whose sparkling streams bring joy and delight to his people. His river flows right through the city of God's most high into his holy dwelling place. God is in the midst of his city, secure and never shaken. At daybreak, his help will be seen with the appearing of the dawn when the nations are in uproar with their tottering kingdoms, God simply raises his voice and the earth begins to, to disintegrate before him. Here he comes, the commander, the mighty Lord of angel armies is on our side. The God of Jacob fights for us. Pause in his presence. Can we just meditate? Can we see our commander, the mighty Lord of angel armies is on our side. The God of Jacob fights for us. Everyone come and see the breathtaking wonders of our God, for he brings both ruin and revival. He's the one who makes conflicts in throughout the earth, breaking the burning every weapon of war. Surrender your anxiety. Be still and realize that I am God. I am God above all the nations. I am exalted throughout the whole earth. Here he stands, the commander, the mighty God of angel armies is on our side. The God of Jacob fights for us. Pause in his presence. Oh, that we might take some time to meditate on this written word and how it so marries with the spoken word that the Lord of angel armies took time to give us a spoken word that so beautifully marries with his written word. And then lastly, in Luke 12 and 8 in the Amplified, I say to you, whoever declares openly and confesses me before men, speaking freely of me as his Lord, the Son of Man also will declare openly and confess him as one of his own before the angels of God. Oh, that we can just grasp the magnificent wonder of our Lord, that he just through our spoken word that he speaks through us 
that he has already commanded his armies, angel armies, to hear our words spoken and has sent them on assignment um, to in this end time. Oh, that we might grasp the magnitude of our Lord. I love you all. And until next time, I pray the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May his face turn to you and give you peace. In Jesus' precious name. And don't forget to walk down those uncharted pathways with Jesus our Lord, knowing that angel armies are there to back up our spoken word that he gives us to speak. In Jesus' name, I love you all. Bye-bye.